Guys, uh, welcome back to MedZone African Motives, uh, still on our mathematics grade 10 revisions on trigonometry. Uh, this is 2D, uh, two dimensional. Uh, that is the one that you're going to focus with and see if we can be able to attempt uh, the wall of this part together. So we are given in the diagram below, a person is standing at point A, all right? So that is the point A here, which is 30 meters away from point uh, B. So this is our point B. So A is 30 meters uh, from the point B that you are given, all right? Then point A and B are on the same horizontal plane. So these are on the same horizontal plane. The angle of elevation of the first stone, uh, st uh, story window is uh, at point C from point A is 15 degrees. Sorry for that. So we're given that from the point A, we have got the first window that we have, that is the story building that we are given uh, at this point. So we've got a story window there, which is at point C, that is 15 degrees from point A, that is our angle of elevation. If you still remember, we had a question which was similar like this, but it was taking from angle of depression. You're given angles which was something like this. And there were actually two angles where you had to consider those angles back. Now you're just given an, an angle of elevation, which is straightforward. All right, anyways, no problem. Uh, the angle of elevation of the first story building window at point C uh, from point A is 15, and the angle of elevation of the second, uh, we've got the second story uh, window at Point D, which is this one, from point A, the same point A, which is 21 degrees, that is the angle of elevation that we see, the bigger one, which is 21. All right, so that is the statement. So as you can see, guys, it, the angle of elevation, this and that, it's not something that is important. What is important is that whatever angle of elevation, whatever angle of depression gives you, you are back to a right angle triangle. Do you know your right angle triangle? Do you know the application of your trigonometrical ratios? Once you know those, you are done. All right, so that is the question. Determine the distance between uh, the two windows. All right, if you consider, I talked about this in the introduction of trigonometry, how to calculate the sides uh, from a right angle triangle, because this is a right angle triangle that we see, and we want to calculate the distance. Remember, these are the two windows that we have, the one at C and the one at D. So we want the distance here, this one. So we understand that. I, if I have the distance of BD, like this one, from B to D, and I also have the distance from B to C, this one, from B to C, let's say I have these distances from B to D and from B to C, I can be able to calculate this remaining distance, this one, which is where uh, our windows are, the distance between the windows, which is what, which is CD. As we can see, the distance uh, between the windows is what is CD. So you can see that CD is simply the difference between this whole line that we have here, which is BD from B to D, all right? So you're gonna have this as BD minus this part that we have that is remaining from B to C. So we're gonna subtract BC from there. So if we remove this part here, or if we take it this way from B to C, this one, from B to C, which is BC, and from C to D, this one, if we add these two, we must obtain the wall of this line, which is what? Which is BD. Ask what we want to calculate. We want to find the distance between the two windows, this one, which is C and D. So to find CD, we can transpose BC to this side. So it is going to be CD is equal to BD minus BC, which is the same as what we have written there. Or you can take it from the way it was actually supposed to be taken from. Uh, now that we know that this CD represents the distance between the two windows, this is uh, uh, the distance that we have uh, between the two windows. So it means we just have to calculate BD and also calculate BC. But where are we going, are we going to calculate BD from? Where are we going to have BC from? All right, if we consider BD, that is the one that is from the bigger triangle, the outer one. So you're gonna consider the angle at A, which is the outer angle, this one. You consider the, the bigger triangle, the outer triangle, that one. That is where we have what? That is where we have BD from B to D. So we're going to see that we're going to have something of this nature. All right, let us just have a right angle triangle there. So we are going to have 
something of this nature like this from B to D to A. That is from B uh, to D to the point A, which is at 90 degrees at D. So take note, we want to calculate BD in that case. So we're gonna calculate uh, BD first, whereby we have from A to B, this is 30 meters that you see here. And the angle that you're focusing on is the one, this one at A, this bigger one, the one that covers to the bigger triangle that we are considering this one. So the angle that is taken is the wall of this angle of 21. So you consider the angle of 21 degrees there. All right, so which ratio are we going to take? Remember, according to this angle, we can name our size. So according to this angle uh, of 21 degrees, this is our opposite and this is our adjacent. Remember, this is the hypotenuse, the one that is opposite to 90 degrees, right, our right angle. So the ratio from our soccer tower that we can apply in this case is the ratio of tan opposite over adjacent. So there we've got opposite over the adjacent. So write down your formula, the tan of theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. You can fill in whatever that you are given. Uh, that is the tan of theta, which is the angle in this case of 21 degrees is equal to the opposite. According to our diagram, the opposite, which is a BD in that case over the adjacent, which is the wall of this side that we have here, our adjacent, which is 30 meters, all right? So you can calculate BD from there. All right, so let us calculate BD. How are we going to have BD? You can just cross multiply. This one is just direct. Uh, that's here, we're gonna have BD. Here, we're gonna multiply by 30. So one times BD is going to be BD is equal to 30 times tan 21. This is same as one, so it's 30 times one, which is 30 tan of 21 degrees. All right, so there we are going to obtain the length of BD. Uh, as uh, I'm just gonna use two decimal places, we are not told, but mostly our instruction is two decimal places, remember if you are not told. So I'm just going to use two decimal places. Already I've fixed my calculator to two decimal places, but to do that, I can simply do this uh, shift set up. You go to the fix at six, then two decimal places, you press two. So your calculator is going to round off your answers to two decimal places, all right? So that's 30, turn 21 degrees like this, which is going to give us uh, 11,52. So that's 11,52. Uh, the units are in meters. So we have the length of uh, PD in this case, which is the wall of this line. We now have it, the wall of this line BD, all right? We've got the length of this BD which we said it's uh, 11,52, all right? So this is going to be 11,52, uh, all right, 11,52 meters. All right, so like I said, in order for you to have this CD here, because here there's nothing that you can use. That's why we, we can't calculate our CD. There. There's nothing in this triangle, guys, all right? So that's why you have to go back to the triangle that you have everything, all right? So you can use this side to, uh, I mean, this triangle here, we have got an angle there and also there's a side. So we can use that to calculate CB. After calculating CB, we can now find the difference, all right? So the triangle that we are going to consider this time is the one that we're gonna take uh, from C to D, all right? So this time we're gonna calculate, all right? So we're just gonna calculate uh, CB, all right? Or BC, the way that we wrote here, let's just write BC, all right? So using the C to B, then from B to A, then from A to C, this is the triangle that I want you to take. All right, so you're gonna take your triangle like this. All right, like I said, from B to C, that is our B here, our C back to the point A. So what you can see or what you can notice is that as you move from C to A, the angle that is now referred is the angle that you take from the horizontal to the line that you have inside of the triangle, this one. So the angle that we are now using there is 15 degrees, all right? So you're gonna use the angle of 15 degrees. We have our, we want to calculate CB, remember? We want to calculate CB or BC, and we are given AB, AB, which is what? 30 meters. So there we are given uh, 30 meters. So as you can see, guys, we can use our trigonometrical ratios again to calculate the side of uh, BC. Because according to this angle, we have got the opposite, and we also have the adjacent, which is the side of 30 meters. So you can see we are back to the same ratio of tan opposite over adjacent. So that is the tan of the angle, which is 15 degrees is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So the opposite, which is the side that you are supposed to calculate of BC. 
So that is PC over the adjacent, in this case, the adjacent, which is 30 meters. So we can calculate BC, this is same as over one, just cross multiply, one multiplies BC, 30 multiplies this side. So that's one times BC, which is BC is equal to 30 times tan 15, which is 30 tan uh, 15 degrees, okay? So this is going to give you the value of BC. So on your calculator, you're just gonna use this direct, uh, multiply the two, that is 30 tan of, 15 degrees like that, right? So this is going to give us as a decimal, 8,04. So that's 8,04, 8,04 meters, okay? So this is the length of what? This is the length of BC. So as we need the one that we are given, which is the difference between the two windows in this case, which is the distance between the two windows. And we said the distance between the two windows is going to be given from CD, this one which we said CD is BD minus BC. So therefore the difference between the two windows, which we referred as CD is going to be BD. We calculated BD, which is this one uh, that we calculated as 11,52. So it's going to be 11,52 minus BC. We just calculated our BC, which is 8,04. So we are going to subtract 8,04. Check note the BC is this one from this point up to this point is what 8,04. So as you can see, these two, if we were to combine them, they are supposed to give us this one. So we just have to subtract now to find the remaining part here. So that is our CD, which is the, diff, uh, the distance between the two windows, all right? So there we just need our calculator to find the difference between this, that is 11,52 minus uh, 8,04, all right? So this is going to give us uh, 3,48, so that's 3,48 in, in meters. So all this part or the whole of this is in meters, all right? So that was going to be the distance between the two windows, which is what, uh, 3,48 meters. So you can even conclude, therefore, the distance between the two windows is 3,48 meters. So that's how you can calculate this, just like that. So we shall see more questions to come from Maison African Motives till we meet again.